What's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. It is moving week. It is Tuesday. I'm sitting in the most terrible lighting to be filming anything, but I am at Home Depot. I'm going to pick up a furniture dolly and some storage bins. If you didn't hear in our last video, we're moving apartments, staying in our complex. We're downsizing to a one bedroom because we can be saving a lot of money and we don't need the space for a two bedroom. This week just feels like it's gonna be crazy and hectic and I was hoping to get this done earlier in the day. It's just after 5.30. We had our inspection a little bit ago and I haven't heard from them about it, but we obviously have things that could use a little repair just from Quinn being a puppy. Overall, it seemed like there was really nothing terrible. I'm gonna go inside and get things that I need to get really quick and then I need to run to the grocery store and then head home, it's gonna be a long night. Okay, so it's the next day. I got home last night and I talked to my parents on the phone for a little while and then I just didn't get anything else done. But we got the bins, we got the moving dolly. So we should be set with that stuff. Worst case, we need to go out again. It's almost 6.45. Kiffer and I were talking about like, what do we need to do to be as prepared for Sunday as possible? And basically, it's just gonna be like going through our kitchen, going through both of our closets, the TV stand, and the bathroom. Those are like all the areas we need to hit before Sunday in terms of like decluttering. Tonight, I'm probably gonna go through the kitchen and just throw stuff out that we don't need and maybe even just pull stuff out that's like not gonna get used in the next few days for anything. So on top of trying to get things ready and packed up if possible, we do have a couple things that we would like to sell if possible, but not detrimental to get sold before we move. One of those things being this TV stand. Um, it has a couple little bite marks in it so I don't really know how much we could get for it but I don't know that we are going to use it in the new apartment we're probably gonna mount the tv to the wall and the other thing is this chest freezer we got this when Jack was still living with us because we just needed more freezer space between all of us even the unit that we're moving into, the freezer is a little bit smaller, but I still just don't think that we're gonna need all of this space. It's one of those things where like, yes, it would be great to get those things out of here before we move and not have to move them with us, especially if we're not gonna have a ton of space for them. I am gonna get to the kitchen and hopefully there's just a bunch of stuff to get rid of. to go to the car to get the bins and the dolly because I, excuse me excuse me you just busted through that gate like it's your job sir sit sit are you moving anyways i can't really do anything else without going to get the bins because a lot of what i've cleared out is stuff that we're getting rid of so i'm going to the car i'll be back I got my fancy flip-flops on. And by fancy flip-flops, I mean Kiffer's flip-flops because this is what happened to mine. I just threw my flip-flop in the water for the dog to chase after. And now it's floating away. <laughs> Far too deep <laughs> into the water. Uh, we're both in our like normal clothes because we didn't plan on going in the water, but then Quinn liked it, so. Oh well, it's just like a, what, $3 Old Navy flip-flop? I'll get some more. That was really unfortunate, so I'm gonna need to get some new flip-flops, but these will do in the meantime. First floor.
All right, I think I'm gonna start with the pantry because the meals that I have planned this week don't require a lot of pantry stuff, which is great, but I need some tunis to get me through this packing. Obviously. Disaster. I cleaned out the pantry and I cleaned out a few cabinets so that feels good. There's a lot to throw away. A lot of expired stuff. Feels like I hardly made any progress but it's fine. It's 8 o'clock. This is like usually when we go to bed so I'm just tired and I think I'm gonna call it a night on the packing situation and I will check back in tomorrow when we're back at it. So it's Friday morning. I had a cancellation at work and I decided that I wasn't gonna fill it and I was just gonna stay home and try to pack. I did nothing last night. I came home and was so tired. I ate dinner and then I basically just sat on the couch the rest of the night and zoned out on my phone and watching baseball. So I'm sitting in the bathroom. I'm about to start going through all of our bathroom stuff, getting rid of things, packing things up as I can. But we have a little bit of an update on the move. So we're planning to move on Sunday. That's kind of always been the plan since we had our tour on Monday. We brought up that we would like to move this weekend. I may have already explained all of this in this video, but we brought down our reservation deposit on Monday. We had our inspection on Tuesday. We sent our pay stubs on Monday and Tuesday. And then I wasn't hearing anything from anyone after, basically after someone came for the inspection, we hadn't heard from anyone. So yesterday I just sent an email through like our resident portal that we have because the leasing agent that we were working with, I'm pretty sure she said she's off on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So I was like, I haven't heard anything from anyone. I'm just going to, send like a general email, hopefully someone can get back to us. So I send this email, I fairly quickly get a response, which was great. You know, I just said to them like, we sent all of our stuff, we just haven't heard anything, we're just waiting to sign the lease. We had the inspection, just like ready to sign the lease so that we can move on Sunday. So the response that I got from the leasing office was basically just like, okay, there's a few things we need to go over. First of all, we have to make sure the unit is even ready for you to move in on Sunday. So there was that, and then she said, okay, if you haven't already, please bring down your $250 reservation deposit so that we can take that unit off the market and reserve it for you guys, which we already did. I let her know that. And then the last thing was just, we're gonna need your pay stubs, so if you could send those over. They're not in the system. I don't know if you already sent them, but if you did, they're just, they haven't been uploaded into our system. On Monday, we brought our deposit down and we handed it to the woman that we are working with. So hopefully she still has our deposit somewhere. And then I replied and just sent the pay stubs to this new leasing agent. I'm trying to not be so frustrated because there are worse things in the world that could be happening right now. The whole reason why we were trying to move this weekend is to save ourselves a lot of money. Like this unit that we're in is so expensive and we will be saving so much by moving to the smaller unit. I didn't hear back from the leasing agent after I emailed her in response with all of those things last night. I'm hoping that someone will get back to us first thing this morning. I'm still gonna pack stuff up like we're moving this weekend because if it does turn around real quick and we are moving this weekend still, I don't wanna be frantic tomorrow night and Sunday morning trying to get things organized. That is the update for right now. I'm gonna take care of this bathroom and get things packed away. All right, just wanted to give a quick little update before I head out to work, but I just got an email that we are good to go for Sunday, which is amazing. Packing tonight and tomorrow will be a must. Okay, you guys, it is Saturday. It has been a roller coaster. Just to give you an update, I had last updated 
everything was good we're good to move on sunday got all that figured out and then i think it was the same day yeah it was yesterday just yesterday that the leasing office asked us if jack was still going to be on our lease which he was on our last lease but obviously he's moved out and is not moving into our one bedroom with us and if he wasn't going to be on our lease we had to release him from the lease with she called it a wet signature which is gross and she in her email she said you hannah and christopher which i think she meant to say you jack and christopher need to come down and sign the like lease release and so Kiffer and I go down there and she's like oh Jack needs to be here too and we're like he lives in Illinois so he's not gonna be here and so then she had to go talk to the manager and let her know and basically he could get the form signed and notarized and sent back to us so that all happened this morning and we got the lease signed like at 6 p.m it's 7 22 and we move tomorrow we are packing we are moving getting stuff done the devil has been trying to get us to not move out of this expensive apartment we're persevering and he is not in control, so we are moving tomorrow. So yeah, that's the update. And hopefully we don't have any other updates besides that we are moving and we've moved, so. Hi, welcome to um, Moving with Kiffer. Um, I'm Lewis and Hannah. Uh, and Hannah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm Lewis. Um, I'll be your star today. Show we're moving. Oh my goodness, you guys, we're tired. It is 4:06, and we're basically done. The things that are left out here are basically just things that we're gonna donate and i think i said this earlier but we'll have this unit until tomorrow so or technically till tuesday morning because of labor day so we're just gonna leave the things in here that we're either gonna throw away or donate because there is no more room upstairs <laughs> we haven't put anything away really so it looks just like stuff everywhere but we're almost done and we gotta go get quinn and if he's not tired from his day at camp i'm gonna cry good morning you guys it is monday it's the next day the move is done probably looks like i'm almost in the same apartment besides the fridge being different everything is in here but i'm gonna show you it is quite literally chaos it's terrible because we didn't pack things in boxes we just did the storage bin empty stuff out go fill another one like over and over again it just turned into mass chaos my goal today is to get the countertop clear our bathroom is over here just like the guest bathroom was laundry closet and then this is the living space so kiffer's gonna have one of his desks over there quinn's kennel couch quinny kiffer's main desk here and then the bedroom is in here. Put the TV in here. The TV stand is currently in here. We may mount the TV on the wall. We don't know yet. And then a closet in there. So it honestly feels basically the same, but overall feels good. We're glad that we did this. Our little Quinny guy is slowly adjusting. He's honestly probably a little bit still tired from his day at daycare yesterday. I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. It's probably been a long one since it spanned over a whole entire week and I'm just gonna get to putting stuff away. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.